Hello. It's rare seeing someone land a rolling thunder, but landing it twice in the same fight. How did Tenshin Nasakawa manage such a feat? We must first acknowledge that he was confident in doing so. It was not random that he landed it twice. He knew he would. How? We must first consider that Tenshin is a southpaw which means his lead foot and his opponent's lead foot will block each other. This innately means that landing the backhand requires getting past the lead leg and lead hand. This can translate into lunging which gives Tenshin a bigger window to counter against. Tenshin's opponent also had a predictable rhythm. There was a reoccurring pause or rhythm break before his opponent's attacks which gave Tenshin a feeling for those breaks. This pause before each attack glinted intent attention as to when his opponent would extend. Now, final note would be hang time. If you notice, Tension's opponent had really cool and fancy looking forward. He covered a lot of distance and for the most part he was doing it hoping to confuse Tension. Unfortunately though, the reverse happened. It worked against him as Tension Nasakawa is a finely tuned counter striker. The distance his opponent traveled was the result of hang time. Hang time is the air his opponent would get as he would move around. This air or hang time innately made it much easier on the eyes when gauging distance and movement, basically giving the human eyes weak depth perception, more tells, more clues. You know, typically staying as close to the ground as possible makes it harder to gauge distance as our depth perception has a poor ability to perceive the back and forth dimension, especially when you minimize the clues needed to do so. Now, when you add all these factors together, it starts to make a little more sense. The Southpaw counter striker standing in the Kyukushin Karate stance had been given too many tools to gauge when his opponent will strike, which explains his confidence with the technique and why he was able to successfully counter his opponent with it multiple times. Thus, the Kyukushin practitioner successfully highlights the difference in skill whilst successfully adding more clips to his highlight reel. Arigato gozaimasu. When you understand these details in footwork and rhythm, his other counters, like this check hook for example, are easily explained. You know, he feels the pause, thus feels when his opponent will extend, textbook counter, check hook. Here, you see the hang time. Then, that same pause has a rhythm break, but this time, tension has gotten so good at reading this repeat pattern of behavior that he caught him on the pause. Nasakawa simply has a higher understanding of the game than his opponent. Now taking a closer glance on the other side, we see tension Nasakawa minimizes all these by as much as possible. Tight movement, no hang time, very close to the ground, very patient and methodical as he advances. And you know, his rhythm breaks are just harder to predict. At the end of the day, it's a fight, thus anything can happen, even tension can get clipped, but these finer details truly set him apart from his opponent. Now of course there are exceptions in the use of hang time, Muhammad Ali and Robert Whittaker being an example. You know, they both have had better fluid transitions between rhythm, but we'll take a closer glance at that another time. That said, I'm excited for this young man's future, 19 years old, 120 fights won, currently undefeated in his current promotion. I'm anticipating how this prodigy fares against tougher competition because I'm certain it's only going to get harder from here. Now, to finish this off with a rolling thunder KO, it appears timing can make this a very dangerous technique. If you'd like more from me, please subscribe, that's definitely great for the channel. Thank you if you did. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. It's Kakarma. And until next time, peace.